Over the past few years, fans have watched as the Marvel Cinematic Universe continues to head down the exact same path that led Marvel Comics to failure. They continue to focus on these characters that really nobody wants, nobody was asking for, no one enjoys. Characters who have failed over and over again in the comic books. Those are the ones who Kevin Feige and everyone at Disney is deciding to push forward for diversity and identity politics reasons in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They've been very open about that. Since 2018, Kevin Feige has talked about the plan for Phase 4 and for Phase 5, and now we're seeing it come to fruition with disappointing box office results, with disastrous streaming numbers, losing millions of subscribers, and losing nearly a billion dollars each and every quarter on Disney+. Plus. But it looks like one of the upcoming series, one of the upcoming Marvel series on Disney+, Plus might be the worst thing yet, at least in Kevin Feige's opinion. We heard all the problems surrounding the Echo series, and you knew that Disney wasn't going to cancel something, despite how many reshoots they had to do, despite how many times it was delayed time and time again. You knew that there's no way that they're going to cancel something featuring a female person of color, disabled and deaf. That's, I mean, come on. There's no way all the pushing for diversity and representation that Marvel could ever cancel something like that and in fact they haven't echo is actually coming out later this year but people really took a notice when they announced how it was coming out it wasn't going to be week to week release like every other thing we've seen from the mcu instead it was going to all drop at once all six episodes all at one time on disney plus that's weird isn't it? It made people feel like maybe there's a problem with it. Maybe it's so bad that they just want to get it out, get it over with, get through the negative press coverage and not have it last several weeks. Well, it sounds based on what Kevin Feige has said that that's 1000% correct. Marvel's Echo so bad it was deemed unreleasable by Kevin Feige. Now, at least when it comes to Echo, unlike some of these other characters like Miss Marvel or Ironheart or any of these other failed characters that were created in the last decade or so, at least Echo has a little more history. Echo's been around since, you know, 99, 2000, somewhere around there in the Daredevil franchise. But there, there's nobody that was sitting there and asking for Maya Lopez as Echo to come into the MCU, certainly not to have a standalone series, but they committed to it for the purposes of identity politics. We all know that. And here we are. It sounds like an absolute nightmare behind the scenes that they had to reshoot basically the entire thing. Recently saw the big announcement by Disney that all episodes for Marvel's Echo will be released at the same time on the Disney Plus service. It's the first time Disney Plus has done that, so it could mean that they're lining themselves up to be like Netflix. However, there could be another reason why Disney and Marvel have chosen to release all Echo episodes at once, and that is the show's complete garbage. The info comes from Jeff Snyder, who has been dropping a lot of things lately when it comes to Marvel. Snyder says the whole thing had to be completely reshot. Quote, I heard the show is kind of plagued by issues throughout production, Snyder said. I heard it was a mess. The show came in so bad, they basically had to reshoot the entire thing. I'm told they originally shot eight episodes, and Feige thought it was unreleasable. So they talked about cutting it down to four or six in post, but they ended up reshooting it. So my source did not actually know how many episodes they wound up with. But yes, apparently it needed a top-down rejiggering, and that Kevin was not happy with it. How crazy. Who would have expected that it would be a complete and total disaster when you hire people for the sole purpose of identity politics who have no experience, who have never had any qualification to do anything like this before? And of course, the show itself. That's the reason it's being made. That's the reason there's an Echo show. We all understand that. And the reason that they're probably dropping it all is exactly like we said. They know it's bad. They just want to get it over with. They don't want to spend six weeks with people bashing it week after week after week. They just want all episodes to drop. People will roast it. It'll be about a week, and then it'll be out of everyone's heads. That's how much they're admitting that this is a failure. It certainly lends a lot of credence to these reports. Kevin Feige is using characters no one likes or asked for. The news about the problems that echoes a big mess isn't surprising as it spins off from Hawkeye, which is terrible. Also, checking the show's IMDb credits revealed none of the creators involved have an exper any experience with comic book properties or action shows, something you would think would be required for a character like Echo. And let's be honest, there isn't a popular character we're talking about here or a character that has any kind of fan base who asked for an Echo show. Yes, 
Nobody. That is the correct answer. That's why so many of these things continue to fail. And when you hire people that have no experience on a show that's premise isn't about telling a good story. Instead, it's about spreading some sort of message or showing how inclusive you are. It's going to be a problem. Now, even Kevin Feige has basically admitted, yeah, this shit was unreleasable. We just got to get it all out because it's that bad. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. Do you think Marvel's Echo is going to do great things on Disney Plus or is it going to absolutely bomb? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.